Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a new watcher, thank you for tuning in. And if you're an old watcher, thank you for continuing to watch and support. Um, basically, what I did today was just create this nice, soft Valentine's Day look since Valentine's Day is coming up. And a lot of people aren't comfortable with using, like, you know, pops of colors, like pinks, reds for Valentine's Day so I think that this would be a perfect look for a perfect look for like you know a toned down Valentine's Day look. So if you want to know how I achieved this look, continue to watch. So here I'm just filling in my eyebrows using the Benefits um, Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade 4.5. You know nothing's <laughs> nothing has changed. I'm just filling in the gaps since my eyebrows are naturally um, full and now I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty concealer to clean that up and I'm in the shade 360 and also the brush that I'm using is the Morphe M158 brush it's like a um, an angled brush and then also a spoolie on the other end and now going back in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer, I'm just going to use this as an eye primer. And this brush actually doesn't even have a name. I don't remember where I got it, but it's just a, a um, synthetic brush. <laughs> so for my first transition shade, I'm using the color Birch. And this Morphe brush, it's um, actually it doesn't have a number on it, but it's a regular blending brush. And now I'm just taking a clean blending brush and working that shadow in some more. This is the NYX 16 blending brush. And now to deepen the crease, I'm taking Dystopian. I think, <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm taking the Morphe M330 brush. It's a very nice tapered brush, so it's going to give me that um, kind of winged out effect that I'm going for. And for my eyelids, I'm going to be going in with the shade Cinder, and I'm using the Morphe Flat Brush, the M421 brush. And I'm going to spray my brush as well, just to add more pigment to it, and pop that right onto my lid. So now dipping back into the Dystopian shade, I'm using the Morphe M506 brush, and it's a mini tapered brush, so it's going to give me more control over... Um, deepening that crease again so to dazzle up my crease I'm going to be dipping the Morphe M250-1 brush into pearl and this brush is very fine tip so it's going to give me that precision to um, add that shadow across my crease so now moving on to the face you guys already know my ride or die the Tatcha Silk Canvas absolutely love this primer and I'm gonna do some color correcting and I'm just using this is actually another no-name brush um, synthetic hair to, to blend that out so you guys I had an allergic reaction to dairy so underneath my eyes it's a bit darker than usual because it was irritated and you guys already know I am NOT swishing up on this foundation okay since she added those new shades 385 is the perfect match okay this this foundation is top two and it ain't number two I'm telling you that right now just look at the finish like, like as I blend it out it just looks like skin it looks and feels like skin so lightweight and you know you can always build on top of it for like more coverage and of course, I'm going to be concealing with the Fenty Concealer. And let me just say, like, the whole Fenty team, they really take, like, the customer feedback so well. Because, like, remember at the beginning when they had the Matchsticks Concealers? Not everybody was really feeling those. So, like, they really took the time, sat down, and perfected this concealer. Because it's, like... <sighs> With the coverage, the blending, like it is just, it's like butter. Like literally, it's like, like just blending out butter. It's so nice. And like, this is me every time. Every time, it just blows my mind. Like, 
every time so now to contour i'm actually using the la girl pro concealer and this is in the shade espresso now usually i would use my fenty beauty matchstick in the shade truffle but i kind of wanted to try something new and i'm aiming to do a all drugstore tutorial for my next video so i kind of wanted to give it a try before i filmed that video and surprisingly like you know my opinion this actually dried down a bit fast so like, i really had to kind of hurry up and work fast it actually really surprised me i didn't know that it was going to dry down like that but um yeah i was able to still blend it out and i actually really like it so now my favorite part which is to set all of this together and of course i'm using the sasha buttercup to set everywhere that i had um, concealed And to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 30 Medium Deep. And I actually really like this powder. I want to try the Sephora uh, Micro Smooth Powder, but I think they had taken it um, off the market to revamp it. But when it comes back, I'm definitely going to try that. And to set my contour, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Jean Miguel Basqui <laughs> in the shade Jawbone. And this is an angled powder brush from Sephora. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a number or a name or anything. And I'm just going in with the NYX O2 powder brush to blend all of those powders together. And I'm going to set that in with the Urban All Night, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. <laughs> so now to complete the eyes, I'm going back in with Dystopian. And I'm taking the Morphe M213 Small Detailing Brush to run that along the bottom of my waterline. And to smoke that out, I'm taking Birch with the um, NYX13 um, Blending Brush. And now I'm just tight lining with um, a black liner from Morphe in the shade Dark Room. And just putting on some mascara, the Total Temptation by Maybelline. This really makes your lashes pop. Like, it, it is, it's amazing. How cute is this lash book from Morphe? Like, I still have to fill it up, but it's, it's so cute. Like... <laughs> And bam, there she is. <laughs> I really love the Milani Baked Blush Powder. They're so pretty. And they give you like a luminous glow as well. This is in the shade 02, Rose Dioro. And I'm going in with the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit in the shade Gumdrop. And the brush that I'm using is the Morphe M601 Fan Brush. And just look at that glow. Uh, oh, God, sickening. And I'm applying gumdrop to my inner tear duct as well as my nose bridge, the tip of my nose, and the arch of my um, eyebrows. And this is a Morphe detailing brush. It actually doesn't have a number. So as you guys saw in the intro, the lip is a nude lip. And I'm going in with the Morphe brown lip liner in the shade Vibes and the Morphe lipstick in the shade Caught. And just gonna set my face one more time with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And we're just gonna do it one time for the one time because my skin is looking so healthy and radiant like just look at that glow and here's the final look I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I also hope that you guys enjoyed the products I use the techniques the feedback that I gave 
um this is like really simple look that like you know very achievable you know the the sultry palette is an amazing palette it's very versatile especially with the colors that pop-up color in there but then a lot of the neutrals very easy to use the baked powder blush in rose dioro dioro yeah this like really this was very nice, you know, because it gave me that nice glow and then, of course, I had to be extra and popped some more glow on because we just like to shine out here. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you for watching. If you made it towards the end, please let me know what other um, looks you guys want me to create. Also, if you want me to um, review any other products. Please let me know down in the comments below and please like, share, comment, subscribe so we can make this family grow. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.